Kaku is a free online drawing tool that can be used to make all sorts of graphics and representations. You can make diagrams such as sitemaps, flowcharts, mind maps, wireframes, and more. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use its basic tools, with an emphasis on designing mind maps. To get started, you need to sign up for a free account. You will be taken to an introductory page. From there, just click on Create a Diagram. Next, a pop-up screen will come up and will ask you to select a template. On your left, there will be a bunch of different templates that you can choose from that have pre-made charts. So this, these are the business templates, flow charts, mind maps, networks, office layouts, and so on. So in this video, we will um, just explore the basic tools and kind of get an idea of how to use Kaku. So we'll start with a blank slate. And then later on, we'll go back and revisit one of the pre-made templates. This is the drawing area where you can make your diagrams. Up here are all of the icons that show um, basic edit options. And over here, you'll see a box that says Inspector. So this is where you can edit, edit specific images that you place onto um, this white area. Over here is the stencils. And then these are the preview images of the stencils. So the stencils are images that you can drag and drop into the white area. For example, if I click on basic, and let's say I want balloons, see that all the balloons show up, and then I can just drag and drop a balloon in there. So there are a lot of different um, clip art and images that I can use to make my diagram. So there's the, the, the basic ones, and then the office equipment ones. So there are a lot of things that can be used um, in a business context. And for web, see, different buttons. And software. That's a good flowchart one and more diagrams. So let's see how some of these tools work by making a very basic mind map. So over here I've selected um, a stencil. I want a basic shape. I'll just take it and drag and drop it into my canvas area. Then I can just resize it like this. If I double click on it, I can add text. So I'll just make my subject on um, the comic strip by Charles M. Schultz with Charlie Brown. I can change the text. Notice that this, um, the text and formatting options are very similar to Microsoft Word. And if I click outside of it, all of my other tools will return. So over here in the inspector section, I can continue to change the font. I can change certain colors or I can change the lines around it. But first I have to click on the image. There we go. And now I can change it. So I can change my line thickness. And why is it locked? There we go. So I can change my line thickness. Change it to 3. And then I'll change the color to orange. And I'll let the line be a normal line. So I can change other things about it like maybe I want it to be um, have a radio gradation on here. Click on that and then I can change the color on the inside make it like yellow or something. Okay. Now I'm going to add other extensions to my mind map. So I'll just click on another shape and once again drag and drop and I'll just do some random shapes here and expand the shapes and I'll just focus on the characters and just for this demonstration we'll just keep it simple with two characters now let's see what it looks like whenever we add the lines connecting the, the mind map. So over here, I'll select a line. So let's try a curved line for this one. 
Now up here I can change um, how I want the line to look. So let's say I want the line to have a to be a little bit thick and um, I'll make this one dotted and all I need to do is just connect the image from one to another and then it makes a line and for my next line I'll make it a regular line connect it like that now I'm just gonna click out of this just to show you what it looks like whenever I move the image so notice how it still stays connected it's pretty cool okay. so if I want to edit some more I can just double click on the image and once I double click on a place in the line I can make it curve a little bit more like that okay so I want to go back and try to edit some of this mm. Now I've realized that if I want to continue editing a line, let's say I want to change the shape of it to be less curvy or something else, I just need to click on it once and then the inspector um, window will pop up. And then I, from this drop down menu, I can choose if I want to change my line shape. So see that? So I, select, I selected straight auto and it changed the shape. Bring it right here. Let's see if I can make it even more funkier by clicking on the inside here. Nope, I can't. So I guess I can only do that, um, change the curvature with um, the curvy lines. But with these straight lines, I have more of a zigzag motion. So now let's export this image so that maybe we can use it later for a presentation or something. So up here, click on the export button and you can export it as a variety of different types of images and documents if I export it as a PNG let's see what it looks like open it and here it is so it exports as a pretty clean image uh, transparent in the background and everything that needs to be filled with color is So now let's quickly revisit some of the um, templates and the pre-made diagrams. So over here, I created a new diagram and I'm just going to make another mind map. So I want to look at some of the pre-made mind maps. So let's try this one. And it's all done for me. Notice that if I click on any of the extensions or the bubbles here, the entire thing kind of moves with it that if I click on the center one all the lines are still connected to it and move with it all right so I can from my stencils I can take something and drag and drop it into um, this map and I can continue to do the same thing that I did with my um, blank mind map from earlier that or if I want to be really consistent, I can just copy and paste these extension bubbles. And I just use the same controls that I would for Word, Control, control C, Control V. Just paste it somewhere over here. And then I can just make more of these lines. That. Okay. If I try to copy one of these lines here, one of these lines, Control C, Control V. It doesn't um, work as well as well. It doesn't. It isn't as nice and consistent. See that? As if I were to um, do it from scratch. Like that. So it kind of so the lines kind of stick out a little bit. So overall, Kaku is a pretty user-friendly program with a lot of different um, clip art and stencils that you can use. Um, if you find that your word processing program is kind of lacking in terms of making diagrams, Kaku is a good program to check out.